shalom family welcome to this session god bless you all in the name of jesus if you're watching me for your very first time this is god's word with lady risa please consider subscribing to this channel for daily prophetic messages for prayers and for in-depth study of the word of god kindly indicate if you want to join our bible study group and there is a link at the comment section i'm going to put it there follow the link and join the bible study session and god is going to bless you through his word is going to bless you through the prophetic messages on this channel hallelujah praise the lord this is a specific word to somebody you are the point in your life now a very difficult point in your life now because you have been framed up and everybody around you seems to believe the wrong story but you know that you are really innocent this is a word of consolation from god to you god knows that you are innocent and he doesn't want you to try to prove a point to anybody at the right time, he is going to vindicate you and show them and prove to them that they were wrong. Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego were set up and thrown into the fire. God appeared and saved them. Daniel was set up and thrown into the lion's den. God shot them out of the lions. This is an assurance to you that no matter where the extent to which they want to go with this plot, with this plan, with this scheme, your God, your Redeemer lives and he will arise for you. Your God lives and he will arise for you. He will vindicate you. God will vindicate you in the name of Jesus. Who will believe Joseph's story? If Joseph tries to explain that he was innocent and that the wife of Potiphar actually tried to, you know, get him to lay with her bed, he refused. Who will believe his story? Nobody. But God has a plan. God has a plan. Believe God. He will save you. He will vindicate you. This is not the end of it. Because your God is fighting for you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Father, thank you for this word in Jesus' name. Amen. Now may the Lord bless you and may he keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you and may he be gracious to you. May the Lord look kindly on you and grant you his peace. Shalom.